I love colors and I love figures and um, um, there's a certain element of um, spirituality and sexuality that um, is invocative, you know, of a lot of my work and I love, um, I love things that um, people are able to touch, you know, ta tactile things and, um, and color, of course, and I just... Um, this is something that really inspires me and just makes me um, feel really good about, about life. I was inspired to move, to come here um, three years ago and um, in that time, uh, the quality of my work has changed and um, um, the, um, it bec it's become more complex and more um, sculptural and I'm exploring that realm. I just feel like as though I feel as people should interact with art and that art is something that should be a part of people's lives intrinsically. And um, I, most of my art that I make is designed to engage people in some fashion and for people to be drawn into it. Maybe not necessarily understanding what's there, but that is something that they're, they're drawn to, you know, um, and um, and so I continue to make things that make people smile and that are beautiful and um, that I like, you know, and that, that people want to live with. And um, I definitely feel as though that artists are recorders of the time period, you know, in a way. You know, they definitely say what is happening in their in their life and in their culture at the time. Um, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of you know spirit. There's a lot of movement, vitality, and um, which is very much who I am. And um, there's just so much that's happening that I feel it comes out in its way. I. Uh, I love making the things that I do. I mean, it, 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 it totally brings me to life. It inspires me. I'm inspired by the simplest thing. And um, I really, you know, just, I just want to put it down. I just want to make it more alive, and, you know. And, um, I like the colors red and orange because it's just, it just says passion mm. and fire and spirit and lust and you know all those things all those passionate things and um, because sometimes people feel um, that the artist is disengaged from the work if it has no title to it which is ridiculous but so you have to give it some type of a title whatever comes out and it's on, on the canvas or on the piece of wood is just but that's what it is you know I don't I don't have any control of that, you know. and um, and now I'm venturing into sculptural um, sh figures. I want to try to take um, my shapes and make them 3D, and you know, and have you know some life to them, and more um, more um, accessible. You know, like people can actually touch them and that sort of thing. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm going to start making them soon. But uh, that's my next step since I've started. Painting now has become like, it's harder for me to paint if I don't do like something else on it. So everything that I do now is mixed media because it's just not enough for me just to paint it. It has to have other stuff going on, something else ex exciting. And like, how do you keep it all together? Well, um, you know, I use this um, epoxy over top of this so that it keeps it all together. Right. Death and resurrection when there's no, you know, head to the body and, you know, um, that's more um, in line with that, you know, constant, you know, death and uh, destruction, um, recreation, destruction, recreation, destruction, recreation. Um, so it's more in line with that um, idea when I have things like that, you know, when they're, and also it's the nature of the, the show, it's like called Glitter and Gore. So there was like, you know, some unpleasant elements and, you know, that reminded one of pain and suffering. That's, um, 
I think that's like the big eye, the eye that sees everything like internally and externally. Um, and I love it. I mean, I think it's, I mean, like, I'm also interested in like multi visual kinds of stuff. And um, I like to turn these into cartoons and have them, have them animated. That's what I really want to do. Because one of your titles was Zombie Sees All. Yeah, that's an old piece that I did a long time ago. But, um, well, you know, my name, Jambi. It's the name I got from a friend of mine in New York a number of years ago when um, this te children's television program called Pee Wee's Playhouse used to be on. And there used to be this genie in a box called Jambi. And Jambi would always, like, solve Pee Wee's problems. Pee Wee would just come to Jambi. Jambi, what should I do? Or you know, grant me this wish or that, you know, and, you know, and Jambi, you know, was always the one that granted the wishes. Well, one day, Jambi himself had a wish, and he had wished himself two hands, and he finally was able to, to jerk himself off. He said, what did he say in this show? It was that I'm now, I'm finally able to do something I've been wanting to do for a long time, you know. So it was sort of like, you know, it was, he was kind of an irreverent character, like the trickster, but he was, you know, he was a, um, a, a good spirit in that he granted wishes and um, was magical. Um, so tell me about some of the work here in terms of old. This is all part of the, the glitter and gore. It's part of the newer, new, new work that I've been doing thus far. So and, and this one is is has a snake and uh, there's other other archetypal thing was snakes and um, dicks and mermaids and eyes and lots of like movement uh, lots of movement and um, sexuality and you know and destruction at the same time it's like a lot of things going on and you just sort of I don't know it's up to the I guess who's ever looking yeah. at it to read into what they think I understand you're going off camping. Yes, um, Fourth of July. Yeah, sure. When and I are gonna go? When and I and our friend Mibenchi are gonna go to our friend's place in Sebastopol, and uh, which is not burning down. So thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see you tomorrow.